Hey guys, Ojanelle here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are getting into some new products from Curl Mix. Ojanelle is not my name, and you must know it's a statement. Hey! About a year ago, Curl Mix sent me their moisturizer and their gel to try out. It was so good that I actually repurchased it. It is a little bit on the pricey side, so it kind of became my special occasion wash and go. But now they have a brand new shampoo and conditioner, so you know I had to try it out. So here's a cute little packaging that it comes in. Bam. If you follow them, you can get 10% off by using the code here so here is my pure aloe vera shampoo clarifying remove buildup i got it in the lavender fragrance because that's what i already have and i kind of just wanted to stay consistent with everything um just by looking at it you could tell it's very boogery and gelatinous as of any other flexy type of product let's see what this smells like in here just flick shampoo all over my face it smells just like um ew. It smells just like um, flaxseed and lavender. I feel like this is pretty consistent with the scent of the moisturizer and the gel. You can feel like a, the sliminess of the flaxseed that it is blended into the shampoo, which is kind of cool. Um, here I've got the Pure Grapeseed Conditioner Hydrating with Ultra, with ultra Slip. This is considered to be step two, same fragrance. Yep, pretty consistent. Oh, this feels very solid. It's like a very solid conditioner. It does have a very creamy vibe, but there's nothing runny about it. It's very firm, very, very firm. Like this wouldn't drip anywhere. And then next up, I've got the Avocado Moisture, which would be step three. And then here is the pure flexi gel which would technically be step four so how to get the best wash and go on any hair type so let's follow the directions guys step one and two shampoo condition it says to use a pure aloe vera shampoo to 30 thoroughly cleanse your hair before conditioning then condition with the pure grapeseed conditioner while detangling and sectioning your hair this step is crucial for the kinkier textures so step three which is going to be moisturized here it says, don't hop out of the shower just yet. Stay in there and style your hair. You need soaking wet hair. It's bald edge, soaking wet hair, dripping in parentheses, to get the best results. Sounds crazy, but we promise it works. Add one to two pumps of the pure avocado moisturizer to each soaking wet section. Okay. Number four is the flaxseed gel and finger comb. Once absorbed, add one... Once absorbed, add one to two pumps of the pure flaxseed gel to each soaking wet section. Next, take your fingers and begin to lightly rake them through your hair to find the curls by finger combing and allowing them to clump. Repeat on all sections. And then they suggest that you diffuse or blow dry. It says, hands off. Do not play in your curls because they look so juicy. Instead, blow dry or diffuse to create a lasting style. It says to wear a bonnet at night or pineapple to preserve your hair. So for the sake of this video, I don't want to do the whole thing in the shower. So I do have my handy dandy continuous hairspray, which I will be using to keep my hair that soppy wet vibe that this item requires now if you guys want more details about the moisturizer and the gel you're gonna have to check out my last video because y'all this review is about the shampoo and the conditioner i already did this video and i know you guys are not trying to sit here for 15 minutes and watch me talk about this so we're gonna review the shampoo and conditioner today and then you're gonna go watch the video of me reviewing these two and then in a couple days i'll be back so we can get the results as a whole of the whole process step one through four all right i'll be back I'm back so first of all let me discuss the shampoo with you guys look at the way it just runs out like a boogery nose on a cold winter day like you can actually feel the sliminess of the flax seeds in it um which really gave it a super great slip so the shampoo was not stripping at all it actually was extremely moisturizing to the touch and it had a very slimy vibe which added to the slip so it made it feel really really nice like 
I was impressed with the shampoo. There's a very, very short list of shampoos that I'm here for. Right? So, um, after I put the shampoo in, like, and I rinsed it out, I was actually able to finger detangle my hair, which usually after shampoo, there's not many that you can detangle with. So, there was that. And then the conditioner, as you saw, was super, super thick and creamy. I had to use some force to force it out of the bottle. Um, but I don't think that that particular conditioner would have been able to get out through a pump because like, it's very, very thick and creamy and firm. So there's that. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply in the moisturizer and the gel. Keeping my hair super wet keeping it in sections and um, I've come to the realization like over the last couple of months using this product that I don't really have to use as much as I think I do. If you put too much in, you end up getting um, flakes. So you want to be light handed and just keep your hair super wet so that it evenly distributes. Alright guys, so I've applied in my moisturizer and gel. You guys, you see all this? Beautiful definition and bouncy curliness. Now, it very specifically says do not touch them. So I'm going to just go sit on the dryer and let this rock and dry completely before they get all frizzy because I want them to be perfect and last. All right, guys, here it is fully dried. Um, these are the results that we know and love from Chromix. It gives me super defined, bouncy wash and go. There you go. Got a lot going on. Um, there's a couple sections, like in the very back, that I ended up having to just go ahead and finger coil because certain areas of my hair just are really frizzy and nothing helps them. So everything else is just how it's set. Like this is amazing. The thing I like about this gel too is that it dries a lot faster than the heavier ones. And um, I find them to be easier to refresh than some of the heavier ones as well. So um, we're going to go ahead and let a few days go by. I'll be back so we can check it out. So it's been a full seven days since I've done my wash and go with the Pure Flaxseed line. And um, I will say um, I've had to brush my hair back all week because I've been working. So I did kind of make my curls up front and they got a bit frizzy. But that's fine because I've been just easily able to refresh with water and kind of get them together and I will say um, my hair does still feel very soft very bouncy it's still pretty defined I do have frizz in a lot of areas and that's because I've been <laughs> brushing it back so um, on a regular like if I didn't have to brush my hair back I probably would not have had any or as much frizz as I do but this line as a whole is pretty solid. Um, it's very pricey for the size of the bottles, but it's all natural and it's good for your hair. So um, if you've tried any of these products, let me know down below. Like I said, if you want a more in-depth review and to know a little bit about the learning curve, because there's a little bit of a curve with the leave-in and the conditioner, you can check my other video. But um, overall, guys, I'm pretty pleased with these products. I'm here for it. At this point in my life, um, I don't see a problem with spending money on something that's going to give you the results that you want and the consistency with your hair. So, um, yeah, we'll see if this makes it to the Staples video. And I will check you guys out in my next video. Oh. Uh. Mm. I feel so right. Baby, where'd you go? Running away from heartache. We've been through this before We can't get it 